what is going on guys it is your girl jenny quit and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter do uh matter because they do excuse me so um i just asked you guys to keep the comments um professional and mature you know it's always cool to disagree to agree all right but um try to keep it to the minimum all right because i will block your ass you hear me i try to i try to enforce keeping a comment section open and productive so everybody can feel like it's a safe space so i don't need nobody raggedy ass daughter or raggedy ass son coming in my motherfucking comments and disrupting my disrupting my everything's is peace because your motherfucking trigger see i don't give a fuck okay this is my motherfucking um channel and you are to be respectful to my motherfucking energy and my time and also my everything's time or your ass will be put on motherfucking time out since you want to act like a child okay these readings are general they are not personal and if you are triggered that much thinking that somebody don't know you from a hole in the wall wants to do a reading and and trigger you today no that is, that's not my intentions so your bothered ass will get blocked the next time i see anyone in the comments not respecting my motherfucking shit or my motherfucking people all right which is my everything so i just have to clear that up all right because i see a little disturbance in the comments and it's like i just i just clearly told everybody to feel comfortable um promoting their business or promoting their channel and then here goes somebody negative negative nancy coming in and really triggered there's a way of expressing yourself there is a way of communication okay your ass will get blocked next time all right be mindful all right so let's tap in archangel michael and a leg wall please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear on my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding the collective's energy also big shout out to my girl that just started her youtube channel and that felt confident enough to put her channel down in the description i mean down in the comments below so go check her out y'all congratulations i subscribe all right so let's see y'all let's see what's going on all right the page of swords So there's somebody's broadcasting something. Something is being broadcast. Okay? Something is being broadcast. You could be a public speaker. Yo, you could you could do something um that involves radio or broadcasting. But there's receipts. All right, and this is what you do for work. So this could be a work situation. All right, where somebody don't like what you see um saying or you know like a journalist you know, it's it's a it's their job to be all in your business, or it's their job. It's certain jobs that require you to know more and know and know the facts before you speak on something. So I feel like whatever you're broadcasting, you whatever you broadcasting, there's facts and there's proof and there's information to back it up. You might be a broadcaster on the internet, or this has to something to do with internet, or you don't even have to be a broadcaster or something like that. You could be um somebody that uses the internet like um like an influencer all right that speaks positive motivation and it might be triggering triggering people just as i was saying like it's looking thank you spirit it's looking like you doing your job as a broadcaster or as a speaker or whatever you in position to do you're doing your job and you're doing it very well all right you have receipts you have knowledge it's looking like you research and making sure you deliver an accurate message Okay, and it's looking like the messages or whatever you are broadcasting, all right? Because it's looking like you have a mass following, all right, um, with this page of swords. It's looking like you're very smart at what you know, all right? And there might be a lot of people triggered by whatever that is that's being broadcasted, all right? I hear, I feel like somebody feels like you're broadcasting their business, Spirit, give me more of this energy. But it's like you're not gonna, it's looking like you're not gonna stop your job because somebody can't handle their emotions. This is a job, page swords.
the the page of swords you know is thirsty for fucking knowledge all right the pay y'all and y'all page of swords energy y'all thirsty for knowledge y'all thirsty to speak on things because Y'all have the facts. That's just like me learning something and so eager to tell you guys because I I could like back it up, you know? So I feel like this is an exciting time for you in a new job or a new career where you're more free to use your throat chakra. That's what it is. Oh, so your throat chakra activated. Yeah, you're bringing justice. Whatever you do, you're, you're triggering people and people's positions are feeling threatened by what you're broadcasting. And this is cosmic justice, all right? You are, you know, when you think about the justice card, you think about somebody that is honest. With this page of swords and justice, whatever the fuck you speak in, it is honest. It is clear, okay? It is true. And I feel like you're speaking up. You know, the justice card is defense, Right, you're defending others instead of yourself. You're speaking up for a cause. There's a reason. I feel like you're speaking up for a lot of people, or you're bringing things into the visible that was once unseen. Like you're speaking on things that was once hidden. Okay, you're very knowledgeable. Justice. Okay, so yeah, you're ruffling people's feathers. By whatever it is that you're speaking about. Because they are resonating with it so much. And the truth requires change. Everything you're saying is justified. Everything you're saying is justified. All right, with this justice card. It's like you are the judge. Okay, it's like you are the one handing out the karma. You are the one handing out the motherfucking... Um, decision on whatever that's supposed to be um adjured okay you are the one that has the um evidence all right you speaking on facts and very very comfortable on standing on motherfucking business justice card okay yeah so whatever you stand whatever you speaking about it's ruffling people's feathers because it's defending you and others it's protecting you and others, all right? And it's bringing the truth to light is what is happening here. And somebody is upset. All right, so. Spirit, give me more of this energy, please, and thank you. Look, five of pentacles. You might be you might be speaking on responsibilities and where somebody's lacking in. All right. You might be speaking about financial security and somebody feel like they're not on that wave. OK. So somebody feel left out of the cold. Somebody don't feel involved. Somebody don't feel capable. Somebody is going through a lot of financial problems right now. All right. Bills can't pay the bills overdue. All right, spending their money on scratch offs. All right, just doing things that they don't have no business doing when it comes to responsibilities and priorities. All right, the Five of Pentacles is at a loss and not able to withstand your current situation as far as responsibilities in this earthly realm. All right, so because somebody is not able to be stable in life because somebody is not on their feet and they going through a rough patch and fell on hard times right now financially they're blaming you and of what you're speaking they feel like whatever you're speaking and whatever you're broadcasting is putting them and losing money they feel like whatever you're whatever you're speaking about is judging them and it's ending all their opportunities as far as growth and as far as money but remember, the justice card is right in the middle. Everything you're saying is justified, you know? So if the, if, the, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it, right? But if the shoe fit, we can't. What are we going to do? All right, so let's keep going. Spirit, give me more on this page of swords. What is this broadcasting energy? This is like the masses. <laughs> like you have authority to speak over the masses. Look, the stars, this is written in the stars. You're following your future. 
Everything that you're doing is justified because you are in alignment with your career. This is a part of your journey. Whatever you're speaking on, you're enlightening people, all right, to be clear on their future, future and to go after everything that they aspire. So this is encouragement for people to go after their dreams. All right, this is a part of your contract, the stock card. See what's going on is somebody don't feel included. Somebody feel like you got more reputation. Somebody feel like you just shining. Somebody feel like you living in star status. You might be a public figure. Everything is aligning with you. Somebody jealous. That's all it is, collectives. Spirit, give me more on this justice card. And the, that's the thing with the justice. You got some sort of authority. Your word hold powers. Your word is good in the hood. Okay? Look, the sun card. Okay. So you're definitely um, a chosen one. All right? You're definitely a star seat. You're definitely a chosen one. And whatever that was deprived from you as a child, whatever... You didn't have the capability of speaking on as a child. Whatever you lacked in as a child, okay, is being given back to you times full. Because now your throat chakra is motherfucking clear and you're activated, all right, and shooting for the stars, all right? And also, this signifies fertility. You could have been speaking on that too. The sun card. Everything shining. You feeling lifted. All right, this is also signifying a rebirth where you got a chance to do it all over. All karma has been paid in full. You got three major arcana cards out here. Look, it is in your destiny, all right, when you came into this world to be a public speaker, to be a broadcaster, all right, and bring justice back in balance by whatever it is that you're speaking on because it's for a cause it's for a reason all right so you're doing everything that you was meant to do as a child you're following your dreams and all your childhood dreams is coming true you are on your purpose all right and for some of you guys you might be getting you might be finding out that you are conceiving for some of you guys you're gonna get news maybe a letter a fucking test you're gonna go to the doctor all right That's what I see. Spirit, give me more on this um, Five of Pentacles. What is this past due? Yeah, your period probably going to be past due. <laughs> Spirit, give me more on this Five of Pentacles. Look, the Nine of Pentacles, you up. Somebody feel like whatever you saying is bringing attention and abundance and showering you in all of the glitz and the glam and the fortune and the fame and the success and the happiness and the romance is being showered upon you, nine of pentacles, while they out here suffering. Somebody's jealous. Somebody's jealous of your children. Somebody's jealous of your stability and how you're able to provide even a loan for your um, family. It's looking like y'all are household name out here or will be. Okay. It's looking like you are on your path. This is well earned, deserved success. From your hard work. And it's looking like you made a life for yourself. You're living privileged and very convenient right now. And somebody can't. Somebody um, is struggling with their bills. Somebody's struggling with legal things. And whatever you're saying. Is, is, is ruffling a lot of people's feathers. Alright. Yeah. They don't know how to stop you. They don't know what to do. Alright. Um, Spirit. Give me more on this sun card. And that's why I say. You know, don't shoot the messenger. Pay attention to the message. Because there's a reason why somebody's resonating. There's a reason why we all resonate. And if we are not ready to tap into that Pluto energy and get to the nitty gritty on why the fuck we even trigger anyway. Because, like, why would you even be in anybody comments mad and, like, wanting to fight the world? And you the one watching the channel. Or... Why would anybody be mad at what you're doing? And this is your time to shine. You know, it's real. It's, you can choose not to entertain it. But it resonates. And your soul has got it to it. 
So stop resisting change. Because just as I said in my last reading that I posted about the um the portals being open, all right, we got to learn about money. All right, we got to... It's not about being fucking spiritual. It's not about being so spiritual to where you being favored. All right? Literally. What did I write? I think I got to say it again for you guys. This is what's happening. You up right now. And somebody is blaming their misfortune on your ass. All right? So, this is the thing. Hold on. Hold on, y'all, because. Hold on. I gotta find it. All right, look. For the fifth portal, March 22nd. This is Mars entering Pisces. Okay? And this is about work, play, and rest. But this energy, you're gonna need to find balance in these areas because a lot of people wanna just play, 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 and no work. Or a lot of people want to rest, 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 but not putting no work in. All right. And then the people that has a balance and work, play, and rest is living in a nine of pentacles, living a good life, you know, following their dreams. And there are people that are jealous because somebody, a lot of people are embodying this energy the right way. And a lot of people are not given a chance to, you know. Uh, March is a time to set up, set ourselves up financially. That's why we call it March Madness. It's literally a time of big financial and abundance and how we're setting ourselves on a strong foundation. All right. So again, March is a time of where we setting ourselves up financially so we could be living like this as my everything's on. Nine of Pentacles, y'all good right now. All right. Y'all learned how to sustain yourself. All right. It's about creating and building that solid ass foundation. For our wealth and abundance, justice, star card, the sun card, nine of pentacles, you good. Now, the thing is, all right, we all must learn because I feel like a lot of people hear the year of the dragon. We are in the year of the dragon. And the year of the dragon, yes, it's motherfucking prosperity, baby. But prosperity does not come to those who are not prepared for it. And somebody wants prosperity. Somebody mad at you because whatever you're saying is triggering them to look at what they're doing and how they fucked up and change it. All right? Whatever you're saying is acknowledging you you showing somebody the difference. All right? So, again, prosperity does not come from those who are not prepared. How the fuck you asking for money? How the fuck you asking the divine for money and wanting justice in your life, but you still spending money on scratch or, or doing other shit? Just as this is an example, how you asking God for money, but you still um, antagonizing other people for doing what they got to do and doing their job right, but it's just triggering you. Somebody is simply not prepared for the money that they are asking. Because they can't even pay a bill. That's just like you saying, God, can I please, please have $1,000? And God's saying, how the fuck you going to give you, I'm going to give you $1,000 when you can't even pay a $40 phone bill. So somebody is not prepared for the blessings that are being showered upon my everything's right now. And you are, and that's why you're reaping it. And whatever you're saying, specifically, they feel like you broadcasting their hidden secrets or their their lies or making them face reality all right success is when preparation when you prepare and now it's me and an opportunity because the divine seeing that you're preparing how the fuck you preparing like this okay now back to what i was saying um we all got to learn about money, all right, one way or the other. We got to get it right, and we got to get it right, and we got to stop blaming other people like what I see on this table and being mad at the world because your lights is out or because you can't provide for your family and you're being mad at other people because they are and we living good right now. That's what I see, all right? We got to learn how to learn about money and get it right because it's not about how spiritual you are. You cannot run away from the world of money because we all use it in some way right now to sustain a quality living life here on earth. 
That's not, that's not to say we always going to have to use money. Because my hope is it to change. I hope that we don't never have to use money again. So nobody will feel indifferent. But bitch, now, I'm not the judge, bitch. Okay? Now, we got to get the money. The fuck? We want to we wanna enforce all of these rules, but we're not even sitting at the higher ups. Okay? You know... You might as well get good at trying to get money, trying to invest your time and a skill or something than just being mad at the world. So this is about money. This is about somebody seeing everybody being blessed around them instead of them. And they're blaming you because you have a job or a career in broadcasting and it's hitting somebody's, it's hurting somebody's feelings that you're speaking facts. And that you made a living on, they feel like you, I'm getting Wendy Williams. Somebody made you feel, somebody, damn, somebody made you feel like you're broadcasting a business and you getting paid for it. But somebody feels like you are getting paid to broadcast a business. Whole time, this reading is what I'm seeing is about you learning about money and you got it right. And how you got it right. Was through whatever the fuck you was learning in this career. You learned that it's not about the spiritual aspect so much of it. And you being kumbaya. It's simply that we can't run from it. Run from it. And the only reason why we go through karma is when we do have money. Because we literally do not do the shit that we're supposed to do with it. Because we're too easily tempted by temptation, greed, drugs, and all that stupid shit. So somebody is being forced to take accountability. And go through this dark night of the soul and this tower moment and they finances and they bills and shit. And not blame that shit on you because your kids is good. Your life is good. You on your purpose. You on your destiny. You're actually doing something of a skill. All right. And you're getting a bag out of it. All right. This is solidified. You one more pinnacle away from the 10. What the fuck? All right. So that's what it is. All right. Look, somebody mad that they hit a roadblock. Somebody, look, whoever this is. It was so much signs. Imagine when you're driving and you you hit a dead end. There's so much signs and signals telling you to stop, go the other way. Somebody was ignoring every sign the universe was telling them to backtrack, backtrack, do it over, watch out, your bills is about to go off. So this is the will of fortune. This is karma. This was a fated event to happen because somebody was trying to skip past their lessons. Somebody was trying to be karma. Somebody was not trying to get their karma and somebody is forced to look. Damn, somebody being cleansed the fuck out, you hear me? That's what it is. Somebody is mad that they got to do a do-over because they try to cheat karma. All right? They've been getting tested. Test after test, test specifically in their finances. And they've been failing the test horribly because they are too operating out of the flesh and not the spirit. Meaning they think God don't see what they're doing. Like my God is a God of seeing or all knowing. Like whatever you do, God know that you're about to do it before you even fucking do it. And they get he gives he and she gives you a test to see if your fucking ass going to do it because you know better. So somebody kept failing the test of life. Failing a test of abundance. Every time they got some sort of abundance, they never gave back to the universe. They did the fucked up shit with it and they asked God at the end, can they do it again? They kept failing the test because they was cheating. They was trying to cheat life. So what I get is like, you know, some of us, it took longer for us to be stable like this because we wasn't out here che cheating, stealing, robbing, you know, trying to get people. We wasn't doing that. So it took us a little bit. But now we here. But for the cheaters, the robbers, the stealers, this is what's going on. Now they blaming everybody but them damn selves that they got to do a whole lifetime of do-overs because they didn't learn shit. All they wanted to do was cheat their way out of life and life. All right, so now you living comfortable. You living comfortable. You chilling, four cups energy. You good, feet up. All right, get everything handed to you. All right, emotional fulfillment at the highest form. And somebody is not comfortable. And because you chose a job that unfortunately requires you to speak on things that are triggering, they mad. So I hope this really helps you guys. Keep going because you're getting cosmic justice.
Like your kids is going to be good. You're very fertile. You feel renewed. All right. All your karma has been clear. You are on your purpose. You figure things out. You found your God. You found your belief system. You found what you wanted to do in life. You found your niche. You found your name. You found what you was creative of. And it's bringing you a lot of stability and a lot of income. You have been solidified. All right. In your material world, not in pinnacles, because you know how to make weight independently. You know how to create. Whatever you do as far as your career, all right, or job, it requires you to speak on things that are triggering to certain people. And it requires you to speak on nothing but facts because of justice. You can't go around using your talents and lying. So it's justified. Everything that you speak on is justified. And the truth requires change. And somebody is being forced to change and clean up their acts, all right, in a time where they're going through a financial um, disaster. All right, I love you guys, and I hope that helps.